Wow, they are just... Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> this is just like the craziest thing. I'm so shocked what just happened. Like, holy freaking cow. Wow. They just kicked me off the live. Kicked me off for violating their community guidelines. Kicked me off live. Said I wasn't going to have live access anymore till the 22nd. Kicked me off completely. I had to file this appeal really quickly and be like, I didn't do anything wrong. I was well within your community guidelines. Like, hit it all. And they finally gave me, I won the appeal. And now they're letting me go live again. But holy freaking crap. Like, what the heck? Just as I'm talking about the truth and like, what's really going on here they kicked me off live there were 600 viewers it said that i got in those 15 minutes like what the heck oh what's up lish yeah right like it's so crazy like getting all these views getting all these shares of the channel and then they're like you're kicked off live for violating our community guidelines so anyways i'm glad i won the appeal it did take like 10 minutes but i'm glad i got it done let's try to figure this you know finish this out with the time that i've got and i cannot believe they kicked me off live like that again but i can believe it I said that was going to happen. I started to talk about truth and started to talk about the ones that were controlling our situation, controlling us with fear. And of course, as soon as you start to shed light on any one of them that doesn't want to be seen, but is behind the scenes, pulling the strings, they're going to try to shut you down. So very annoying that they kicked me off live, but let's see if we can get people back in here and keep it going. Like, oh man, that always irks me, but Hey, I'm glad I won the appeal and, get, and can get back on. And in the meantime, I did a video that was like, they kicked me off live. So that should be loading soon too. And I was like, kind of just talking about some other stuff, but dang, that, that's always so frustrating when they kick you off like that. So let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's keep it going. So anyways, this does this, the system was designed to keep us in control, right? Through fear, keep us controlled through fear. So today we're going down the rabbit hole and we're going to explore, you know, what's been going on since the beginning of America how this has been able to be like happen and continue to happen. As you know, people like me trying to get the truth out, they kick you off the live. These are the kinds of things that they do. So here we go. Let's dive right in. Um, so for, just so everyone knows, like we were designed to be superhuman. Like we we can do so many different things they don't want us to know about, but they don't want us to know this knowledge. If for years there have been people that can move objects without using their hands, telekinesis and stuff, look it up. They're out there. And every time the government will come in, and they'll take them in, they'll do testing on them, and then they'll put them in an insane asylum. That's what they do every single time. Anyone that displays these superhuman abilities, the government's like, oh, cool. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. Come here. Can you want to come into our institution and show us so we can prove it to everybody? And they're like, yeah, yeah, sure. I'd love to do that. So they take them into their institution. Then they do all these tests on them where they get all these videos, which you can now see through FOIA requests, Freedom of Information Act requests. You can see that they've completed these tasks. And then the government submit, um, sends them to an insane site. So quite, quite crazy. But there are a lot of people that do a lot of really cool things. If you weren't on before, I got kicked off the live for telling too much information, but I appealed and I won. So here we go. So you guys, we're not free. We talked about that. Look at all of our things we have to register with at We Are Products for them. And they don't want us to know. They want to keep these secrets to themselves to control us. They keep us fighting amongst ourselves, right? So we don't know they're there. They create factions, which are small groups that seem so different, right? Like, you're black, I'm white, you're Asian, I'm Mexican. Well, it's stupid, all these stupid things. Like, you're a girl, I'm a boy. Like, all these dumb, dumb things. You're Democrat, I'm Republican. They do all these stupid things to so we fight amongst each other. And we never look to them, okay? We only look to them for the answer. We never look to them if we're like, yeah, 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 I can't believe, oh, these stupid people, stupid people everywhere. And then we're like, oh, but answer when I need health care. Or answer when there's a natural disaster. They don't want us to be like self-sufficient and self-reliant. They don't want us to think that we can do anything, that we can decide what's right for us, that we can fix solutions, you know, fix problems and come up with solutions. They've trained us to go to them, okay? Um, so they also keep us busy right? They keep us busy. They, they don't want us to have time to think. They don't want us to have time to learn. They don't want us to have time to understand nothing. They want to take it all from us. They want to make it so that we're always working nine to five. They make the value of the dollar so, so, so small so that we do not, we're not able to actually like make money and just have this free time. The majority of people, I'm talking about the majority here, this majority that I'm trying to get, get to, all right? They make it so that we are not able to actually 
live a life that doesn't consist of a schedule or a regimen. They, they oh, encourage you to put these kids in your sports. Every night of the week, you're doing something, right? Every day of the week, you're doing something. Every night of the week, you're doing something. You never have time to just free think because what happens when we free think? We start to understand a lot more. Okay, we start to realize what we can do. Ideas start to come in our minds. And just like when they kicked me off the live, spread too many ideas, ideas are dangerous. Ideas are dangerous because it can free us, can free the people, you guys. All right, so I talked about the 100 families, okay? They reincarnate over and over, life after life. Again, I'm sorry if I'm offend, okay? I'm not here to offend religion. I'm just telling you what I've learned through this thing into the same families over and over again. And they teach their children, their grandchildren, everybody how to con continue to manipulate and control the people, okay? And then they spread that information into small factions of like Illuminati, Knights Templar. These are societies that are then able to go infiltrate other areas and sectors of our government, schools, finances, edu I said it, government, or I said education, uh, healthcare, insurance. These are all big fraud things that they've created to try to manipulate and control us. They're all, they've given us a, a crappy set of rules. Like I talked about in the other, when I was live before, before they kicked me off. Okay. Um, there's lots of different things that they do to maintain this control. They create this pharmaceutical industry to heal us. Right. We all need to be healed by the pharmaceutical industry. Right. Yeah. Go to the doctor and get a, get pharmaceuticals to heal yourself. They're killing people, killing them. Do you know pharmaceutical drugs kill three times more people than recreational drugs do per year? Three times. Pharmaceuticals kill three times more, more people than recreational drugs. But yet there's a war on drugs. But no one talks about the pharmaceutical stuff. And those, those stats are actually a bit skewed because it is hard to actually find pure stats on pharmaceutical drug deaths because they like to, uh, they like to skew them and hide them with different um, terms like interactions and, you know, all, all these stupid things, side effects and crap. So they don't actually count even those as deaths. But ones, the ones they do count, three times as many pharma deaths from pharmaceutical drugs than recreational. Crazy, guys crazy. So what, what they don't want us to know is our bodies can literally heal themselves. Okay. If given the right conditions, our bodies can heal themselves. So remember that. All right. So let's start from the beginning. How did this all happen? All right. So the Knights Templar was a group that was given access to secret knowledge. Now I'm not going to go into where before them and where it came from. I know that's super controversial and I'll do that in a different video. And I have done that in the, in another video. Uh, you say they hide info, give your evidence to prove that JEC, go look it up yourself. Don't expect to be food, uh, spoon fed. Okay. So the Knights Templar, they were given secret, um, a lot of secrets that they were told to protect and they were told to make sure these secrets didn't get to the masses. All right. What these people did is the Knights Templar then went out. Um, they discovered it during the Crusades period. Okay, you can find all this stuff. And they kept this information and knowledge hidden in order to continue to manipulate the masses and keep control. Um, they built a bunch of temples. They did a bunch of laying out of like the sacred geometry across the world. It, it did like this um, communication network. I know that seems far-fetched. I understand that. But that's what they literally did, okay? These temples and communication networks were giving them access to um, information infinite healing potential and different things that they could learn. It was very crazy stuff, but they kept these secrets hidden for a long time and they don't want them to get out. They don't want the masses to know about this. Okay. Hey, Candace, I'm happy you did too. So when the Knights Templar was broken up, so the Knights Templar, then, you know, the financial system, they're all about the finances. Okay. They've got all their hands in financing, banking, uh, government, uh, think of like BlackRock, okay? There's these hundred families have then dispersed themselves to all these different corporations. And going back to pharmaceuticals really quickly, that's corporations. These are corporations that own the pharmaceutical companies. Do you know that corporations are for-profit entities? So if you're really trying to heal people and heal them and um, make them healthy, why would you want to turn a profit off of it? Interesting, right? Quite interesting. But yeah, they're, they're for-profit corporations. So after the Knights Templar was dispersed and the Knights Templar tries to pull a thing like, yeah, we just, we wanted to, uh, we wanted to give freedoms to the people. We wanted to free the people from the Catholic church. Really? 
No, you were the, you and the Catholic Church, Knights Templar and the Catholic Church were direct competitors because the Catholic Church also gained a lot of access to the secret information that the Knights Templar was given. So the Knights Templar wanted a bunch of their like relics and different things like that, and they wanted to have them for themselves. And so they're like, yeah, the church is holding us down. The church is holding us down. And that's how they got a lot of... Um, support from the masses at that time because they're like oh well we, we do feel held down by them right we do feel held down they do have a lot of rules and restrictions but as soon as the knights templar um got any sort of power they did the exact same thing so then come over to the u.s knights templar turns into the illuminati the freemasons every single one of our presidents has been a freemason or been a part of that organization and i've had a lot of people say and come on my channel and be like i'm a freemason i don't know what you're talking about well it's just like what happened on my other live before i got kicked off it's not that every single person that's part of that organization knows the manipulation and the secrets that are occurring through that organization there are a bunch of peons in the organization and then there are ones at the top who know what's going on so they have these peons that protect them that's what you see in the government that's what you see in the education system, healthcare, insurance, fi uh, finance, everything. Okay. But that's what the mission is. And that's what's going on in, in these systems. So every single one of them has been part of the Templars. If you look at like the Bush family who started um, Skull and Crossbones, what was that? Yale University, Harvard University. Someone will correct me on here. But Skull and Crossbones, that was just a spinoff of um, the Freemasons Illuminati to try to reach a younger crowd. There's all sorts of things. There's actually schools you can go to right now. You can look up... Um, Illuminati Freemason School or Skull and Crossbones School and their summer camps that these kids can go to, okay? And they're just made for, you have to go through an application process in order to be approved to go to their summer camps. It's really quite strange and crazy, but during these summer camps, they teach the kids, that's how they pass down this information to them and like the group can come together and work and go through all the lessons that they're supposed to hit at certain ages. It's very, very structured and it's um, a system that's been taking place for centuries, so they have it very well put together and mapped out but you can find the websites for it i found one before maybe it was called bright school i don't know someone will remember where it was on here and, and put a comment down there but crazy you guys they're very well structured and that's why it's really important for us to come together as a group okay we've got to come together as a group in order to fight back okay in order to rise because we do rise up and we do win this in the end but if people don't know about what's going on if people don't hear the information then it's going to be impossible for them to protect themselves and their family okay so illuminati went um, their knowledge was passed down to other secret societies. There's a lot of kind of spinoffs of it. Um, and, and these secret groups basically do everything they can to continue to control the masses. Media is one of their biggest tools. They use media a lot, a lot. Media is their number one tool. And that's why they hate social media platforms so much because their control, um, they're losing their control. But again, that's what apocalypse. So apocalypse means unveiling. Okay, unveiling. It doesn't mean destruction, but they've wanted us all and they've manipulated the Bible and these other books in such a way to make us only think that the only way out is destruction or complete hands off like... I don't have to do anything because this other person's going to save me. No, no, no. Look within yourself. Don't look without. Look within. Okay, but that what's coming is going to be insane. And so they're using these media outlets in order to push the message they want people to hear. They allow certain books because that's the message they want pushed. Anything, any idea that they're shutting down immediately and trying to like debunk for you, that might be something you want to look into a little bit more. Okay. If they've automatically like, oh, that's debunked. It's debunked. Why would you even need to debunk it? Why do you feel like you feel like I can't think for myself? I can't discern a good idea from a bad idea. Why am I not being able to be presented with all ideas, right? And then for me, I can discern a good one from a bad one. I'm being able to be presented with all options when it comes to like crimes, right? All the murder shows and everything else. I can see all that. I can watch people die on TV, but you literally won't give me access to all ideas. That's a red flag right there. That's people trying to control you. People trying to make it so you don't have access to information. That's a control technique. And that means they're scared of what you could do if you did have access to that information. And again, this isn't a fear-based thing because there's ways for you as soon as you realize what's going on. The first thing is realization. And then after you realize it, you can then make those changes. And that's when you can, we'll talk about at the end, like what you can actually do to first off, go within. If I get cut off again on the live, go within. Like it's crazy guys. Okay. Um, so America, the formation of America, right? It was a planned experiment. Basically, they wanted to see if they could create this fear state to be able to control the masses because they feed off fear. These control people feed off fear because it allows them to control us even more. All right. And they, they use our fear 
and our directed energy, basically like what we're focused on, what we pay attention to gives that idea that we're paying attention to more power. All right. And so that's why they'll tell us about certain things that seem like, why would they tell us about that? Wait, if they were controlling us, why would they tell us about that? It's because they want more energy to go towards that idea. Okay. Where our mind goes and where our thoughts goes, thoughts go, that's where energy is directed. Okay. And they do that crap because they want to push their agenda, whatever that agenda is at the time. There's no specific one that I'm pointing out right now. It's just, this is the normal pattern that they do. These false flag events, right? Engineered crises, because they want us to then be so concerned and so fearful that our only option is to go to them for help, okay? And go to them for an answer. So America, it was orchestrated by these secret groups as a controlled experiment, okay? The founding fathers, like I said, many of who were Freemasons, if not all, I can't think of one that wasn't right now. They were part of a plan to create this nation, um, and it was designed to force people to live in a fear state. Okay. And they'd live in a fear state their entire lives and just only do what the government and these controllers of, of above us, you know, allowed these people to do. All right. It was instilled through the creation of laws, um, governance systems, social structures. It, they were all meant to limit personal freedom and potential of people. Okay. Um, it's, it's really, really interesting. I think there was a comment. Can we talk about JFK? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready to go on that. So they do all of this in order to manipulate our minds, in order to limit our minds and what we believe is possible. And then from there, they're able to kind of like get above us, orchestrate all these things like a puppet. Okay. We're in the show down here. It's a game. It's a complete game. And if we don't break free and learn the cheat codes and learn the actual rules of the game, we're going to be stuck. Okay. And then you're going to be stuck falling into things like, uh, uh, oh man, I just said it in my other video, the blue light experiment. I can't remember which one I'm talking about. I can't believe I can't, I can't think of that right now. Um, interesting, obviously not supposed to say it. Maybe that's going to get me kicked off life. Okay. All right. So, um, we talked about fear and all of that. I was going to tell you something else. Oh yeah. So laws and creation of all these laws and the governance structure. And we need a representative democracy in order to allow you to represent people to represent you. And then these people, vote. no, no, that when you start siphoning these little, like the information and only to small groups of people and only certain people know what's actually going on, that's how it causes problems. Okay. What's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. That's how they're able to do this crap. Okay. They're, they're, this has always fallen and never worked out. Okay. So we've got to start being like, no, I'm just going to represent myself. No, I'm not, I'm not going to really vote for a president because it's the whole thing stupid, but I know we're not there yet. We'll get there. Hopefully. Yeah. Project MK Ultra, Definitely you guys like hundred percent mind control. It's insane. And all these things you can find through FOIA acts, go put out a FOIA act, a freedom of information uh, request. It's a FOIA request. You can do it through any government and they'll release all these documents to you right now. Stuff they've done in the past, nothing they're doing in the future, um, but stuff they've done in the past that they'll release to you right now. Okay. And you can find it. It's insane. Okay, so false flag, so orchestrated events to maintain control. That's one of their favorite things to do. They love these orchestrated events that allow them to maintain control. False flag events. They're basically like events that are created to generate fear and then justify the control that is implemented very soon after, okay? Um, examples include the sinking of the Lusitania as a precursor to World War I. They said, oh, the Lusitania was shot down, blah, blah, or it was, you know, sank, blah, blah. No, they did that. They did that. They blew it up and then had us go into a war. Do you know why? Because war makes them a lot of money and kills off stupid people. It's really sad. The strong ones, why do you think they want them to join the army? Because then they can't protect us. All of our strong ones, our strongest, our bravest men come join their stupid army now you can't protect anyone at home. It's stupid. It's stupid. So sorry. And that's not to say that I don't support those people that are in there because they don't know. They don't know at all. It just bothers me so much. The manipulation, the fact that they don't have an actual choice to be like, wait, what actually, no, we didn't even, that didn't even sink. Like you, you guys sank the Lizutania and now you're, we're at this rally around the flag effect. And now I feel compelled to go to war and protect America because America needs protecting. America didn't need protecting. They sank that. No one was after us. Nope. Nope. And they do the same crap today. 9-11. You know how many people signed up to, for the military right after that? Rally around the flag event. 
These things manipulate people, our strongest and our bravest. It drives me nuts. It drives me nuts because they're not allowing people to understand the truth. They hide it. They hide it in plain sight. And it really, really is frustrating. All right. Pearl Harbor. It was used to draw the U.S. into World War II. Okay. That whole thing was manipulated and fake. We had the warnings incoming from a long time ago. There was actual agreements that were already in place to allow that to happen between very top leaders in this world. It's it's really, really shocking stuff, you guys, okay? Look into some of these things. I encourage you to do your own research, okay? Especially, I can kind of see in the comments that there's some people that are hating. Thanks for being here for one, but go do your own research, okay? Go do it figure it out. It's exciting stuff. And it'll make you feel more free rather than caught and fearful. Because if you're being hateful towards others, you're feeling a lot of fear. I'm sorry I'm scaring you with my words. I know words can be very scary and truth can be scary, but go do the own research. All right. 9-11 was a turning point um, in modern surveillance and control. It allowed in a lot of biometric information. It allowed in a lot of laws that um, basically controlled the people and were able to geolocate the people a lot easier okay so that's what that really brought into play sandy hook i won't go too far into it into it but fear of losing the children um you know children's safety you got to look to others for the safety of the children all these different things and i won't go into it because i know the lawsuits were for millions of dollars i'm not going to go into it and don't want to be kicked off the live um each generation has been given its own traumatic event its own false flag event its own rally around the flag event in order to change the minds of the people that they were focusing on at that time. Okay. JFK assassination. That brought in the Federal Reserve. The plane ride on the plane ride back. LBJ signed in to law, the Federal Reserve. And the Kennedy family is quite interesting. From what I hear, the Kennedy family, because they're they're a controlling family. They were they were one of the hundred families that was controlling. Um, and I'll I'll go into some of those families in just a minute. But I heard that they were trying to get out of the control and they were trying to actually kind of like spread the word, especially through um, JFK himself. And he was very much against the Federal Reserve. And a lot of it was for the, his because a lot of his family was going to lose money through the Federal Reserve. So I understand it may have been like personal notions that did that, but he was against it for the people. He wouldn't sign it into place. He got assassinated. LBJ, who was just this amazing guy, uh, you know, signed it in on the plane ride back. So. He was mourning JFK so much, right? So generational fear and control. Like I said, we've been born into it. We've been born into everything we know around us. We didn't get the chance to be like, yeah, I agree with this. No, you know, you're born into it. All right. As you get older, you've gotten the chance to like, like slough off some of those layers that were given to you, but your name given to you, right? You were born into this thing. Um, so all these major crises, all these major crises to like reinforce control and like reestablish like a uh, fear and paranoia, um, modern terrorism, right? Like all these different things. They want to establish fear and paranoia. You're telling me that I can't be on TikTok putting a video of, out about really cool ideas, but you're allowing us to show beheadings on the news. Remember that? I'm sure they still do that. I stopped watching the news years ago. Remember when they would show like beheadings of the terrorists? Oh, this terrorist just beheaded this person. Well, I saw a video showing that was like a green screen and all these different things that they do. But do you really think that some government that has our best interests in mind is going to allow like a beheading to be shown, but not allow someone to like talk about ideas? No, not at all. Because they don't have our best interests in mind. They're corrupt. They want control. They want us to be fearful of everything <laughs> and think that we have no way out. And then we have to be like, please save me. Oh my goodness. Please. Will you save me? No, save yourself. Go within. All right, let's continue. Um, so people, when they're in like a constant fear state, it prevents them from thinking. Okay. They they did, they start doing like knee jerk reactions. So everyone's always like, well, why the constant fear state? Why is it? Well, if you don't understand, if you don't, I, I don't even have to go in like the spiritual side of it and talk about low level vibration or anything like that. What you will understand is they get into fight or flight mode. So if you're in fear and this is like that one, like all the people that make stupid comments on here, they're like, you're stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. They're in fight mode. I wish they'd go in flight mode and leave, leave the live, but the, that's what fear does. Okay. Fear of losing what they've thought they knew their like they thought they've known their entire lives makes them go to fight or flight. That's just a natural reaction. That response was given to us um, very early on in our developmental stage in order to protect us. But now it's used to manipulate us. Okay. Like for example, 
If we were out in the wilderness, there's no one around, some, you know, lion comes up and is going to eat us, we're in a fear state, we will either fight, if it's a lion, we're likely going to flight, we're going to run away. These sorts of things were brought in to protect us, but they're being used to manipulate us, all right? So when you're very, very, very fearful of something, you're not going to think, you're just going to be like, ah, I got okay, okay, and then you're going to look for the safest thing right away. And what do they always do? Fear, 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 hey, this will save you. Fear, 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 fear. Hey, this will save you. And so it's like, okay, 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 grab it. Grab a hold right away. They know that, okay? And that's how they're easily able to control us. All right, fear, 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 fear. So get out of that fear state. Start taking your power back. Um, and it keeps them from rising against the, the powers that be because we're constantly in fear. We're never able to actually have the time to ourselves like I talked about before, where you're able to actually sit there and contemplate, meditate, like come up with new ideas. We're constantly doing things and we're constantly worrying about things and we're constantly in fear. That's where they want you to stay. Very, very, very low level, very low level. All right, so hopefully this doesn't kick, get me kicked off, but um, who are these families, right? So let's talk about some of the top 10 families, okay? We would love to work with you. Check your message request. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, so the Rothschild family. First and foremost, masters of the financial system. All right, that's what these guys are known for. Masters of the freaking financial system. Uh, they're often seen as the architects behind the entire global financial system. And remember, when I say 100 families, that's 100 families ruling the entire world. Not just the U.S., the entire world. So when I say 100 families, that's what I'm talking about here. So the global banking system, that's the Rothschilds. Again, if you want my notes, remember, I'm going to post them in another video. I was going, I made a video in between this and was, um, so normally I post my notes only to subscribers, but when I got kicked off the live in the middle of it, I was, I made a video that said, you know what, since I was kicked off, I'm posting a video of my notes for free for everybody. So right after this, I'll post a free one. You don't have to subscribe for it, but everyone will get my notes because they're very important, I think. Um, they control the central banks of almost every single country. Um, they influence wars. They influence the stock markets. And they influence political decision. There's a, a phrase, money talks. Yeah, it does. Money talks. Okay? And the Rothschilds know that. Um, the creation of the Federal Reserve. That's linked to the Rothschilds. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Um, and they've been pulling strings behind um, many major financial crises to consolidate more power. That's all they do. They want you to go to war so they get more money. Um, they basically fund both sides of wars. It's it's really interesting when you actually go into, get into the rabbit hole of looking into these things, what they're doing. But Rothschild's hilarious. Um, I, the Napoleonic War, that's what I was just talking about. So the Nap Nap Napoleonic War, Rothschild's funded both sides. And profited regardless of the outcome. They, they still do that crap. Um, Great Depression. It's another example. They they orchestrated that whole thing by manipulating the value of the currency. Um, world wars and then modern banking collapse, collapses. They're behind all that. Those are all false flag events, you guys. They're all just orchestrated to gain more control, gain more power, um, implement more laws, implement more regulations, do things to just legally control us. And we just sit back and are... Do, 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 or we're like, ah, ah, I don't know what to do. I'm so scared. It's time to, it's time to grow a pair of people. It's time to grow a pair. Sorry if that offended anyone. Um, and then they operate from the shadows, right? The Rothschilds are known for keeping a low profile. They stay out of the public eye, um, but they wield immense power by doing so. Okay. You don't want to be in the spotlight because then everyone follows every move you make. Look at these celebrities. Anytime they travel around, everyone knows where they're going. Everyone knows exactly when Taylor Swift's on the move. She's got security all around her. Do you think these people that are running this whole thing, these hundred families want that everywhere they, every time they go somewhere? Absolutely not. That's why they give you these stupid people to look up to like these Hollywood people. And they created that stupid thing of Hollywood to distract you from what they're doing behind the scenes. Okay. All these celebrities and crap that people like know their names and know everything everything about him. I'm like, that's a waste of time. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop supporting the beast. Like get off of that. Um, okay. So let's go to, so uh, again, the Rothschilds own tons of flashy public companies. They control enormous amounts of money through banks and secret holdings, and they manipulate global events. Now Rockefeller family, think of oil, war, and honestly, world domination, <laughs> like full out world domination when you think of the Rockefellers, because that's kind of their MO here. Um, so th they control standard oil. Don't know if you've heard of that or not. Um, they've dominated the energy sector 
and they influence politics through their money. Okay. Um, John D. Rockefeller had a monopoly over oil and then gave his entire family that same monopoly through different little segments of their company. Because as you know, once you create a company, it's really easy to hide who owns what. And there's different legs of the company. And so it's very easy to hide like your assets, um, ownership information, lots of fun stuff. I'm a lawyer. I definitely know all about that. So they do that extremely well, Rockefeller family. Um, they, uh, let's see. Funding secret projects, they're really into that. Shaping institution like the United institutions like the United Nations, you guys. Um, pushing this globalist agenda. One world government agenda. What do they say? You'll own nothing and be happy about it. What was that year? By 2030, is that what they say? Or is that 20? I think it's 2030. Someone can put it down if it's wrong. But you'll own nothing and be happy about it. Would that make you happy to own nothing? Everything you've worked really hard for, you you don't own it and you'll be happy about it? Sounds like a high level of manipulation and control that's going to be smacked down on you at some point. What if they told you everything you own will kill you, <laughs> right? Like there's some weird stuff that they like to do in this thing, you guys. So yeah, that's that's what they're doing in the United Nations over there, one world government. All right, major events. So the Rockefellers have been tied to world wars where oil played a crucial role, still does today. Anytime we want the natural resources of a certain country, we like to start a war there. <laughs> have you noticed that? Yeah. So that's kind of what happens. And I'm not saying we, and I'm not saying our soldiers are soldiers. I'm saying the people that do these things like Rockefellers. Interesting. Um, yeah. Formation of the United Nations and the Council on Foreign Relations, CFR, which is a hugely um, powerful entity, but they're both efforts that were created by the Rockefellers to bolster a one world government. All right. Operating from the sh the shadows. Now, unlike other wealthy families, the Rocker the Rockefellers like to do lots of philanthropic, philanth philanthropic, philanthropic, lots of philanthropy. Okay, they like to do all sorts of nonprofit organizations. Kind of reminds me of Bill Gates, right? Lots of nonprofits that makes them look so good. Um, on Bill Gates' side of it, here, everyone, go take all these free vaccines. If I can get enough people to take vaccines, we will reduce the population. See anything wrong with that? He's saying that by taking vaccines, he will reduce the population. Interesting, right? Vaccines don't kill and we're not supposed to think that they kill. But that's exactly what Bill Gates says and has said many, many times. Um, but same thing with Rockefellers. Lots of charitable things. But behind closed doors, they push for global control, right? Big think tanks. They're behind a lot of the big think tanks. All the think tanks that our government goes to to be like, oh, debunk this. Is this real? Is this fact or fiction? The think tanks that do that, Rockefellers fund them. Political alliances, they do most of that. Um, control of essential resources, oil, money, that's your Rockefellers. All right, the DuPont family. Let's see how long TikTok's going to let me go. I'm really shocked about this whole thing. Uh, 